gets it. Yeah. Clue Clue Land for the NES. Published by Nintendo, it was released for the NES on October 18th, 1985. Developed by Nintendo R&D 1, up to two players take control of the balloon fish Bubbles and has to go across the maze to find all the golden ingots before the time runs out, so you can rack up the points. You maneuver through the maze by using the D-pad to hook onto the posts and change direction. The direction you switch to will also switch your hooking options, which will take some time to get used to. When you go over an ingot, it will appear, showing more of the shape you're trying to uncover. But be aware, there are obstacles in your way, like the sea urchin and the black hole. The urchin can be stunned by Bubbles' sound wave, which is used by the A or B buttons, and after that you can smash them on the wall for points. You can also collect extra bonuses like fruit, a sack, timers for more time, and flags for extra lives. If you find all the ingots in the maze, you'll move on to the next round with increased difficulty. If you get hit by anything, or if the time runs out, you'll lose a life. Lose all your lives, the game is over. Overall, this is a very interesting puzzler, one that isn't always talked about but lives on loosely in The Legend of Zelda, where the ingots act as the rupees in the game. Weird how things come about. And stop. I'm going keru keru. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, share, and comment on the video. And if you want to see more quick views, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This is Brian the Blue, and I'll see you next time.